Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Arp Comedy. I'm back with another Dokkan Battle video. And in this video, I want to give you guys all the details we currently have about the next upcoming Extreme Z Battle or Raid Boss for part 2 of the 300 million download celebration. And it has officially been confirmed that we are going to be getting a brand new Perfect Cell Extreme Z Battle event. And if you're curious about why people have been calling it a raid boss as opposed to just a regular EZA, it's because it's most likely going to be very similar to this Jiren event that we got last year for the 250 million download celebration. And the way this campaign worked was that there was a raid boss Jiren with 30 million HP, and we had to work collectively as a community to reduce his HP and take him down essentially. And the way that worked was each time someone cleared one of these stages of his EZA or Extreme Z battle event for the first time, that was 1 HP deducted from the total, and once we got all 30 million, Jiren the raid boss would die, and we would get rewards for that. So I'm assuming that the campaign for this year for the raid boss cell is going to be very similar, maybe with a few minor changes here and there, but basically the same concept, and that's why people have been calling it a raid boss. And uh, of course, there is one very notable difference between last year's Extreme Z Battle event and this year's Extreme Z Battle Raid Boss, and that is that for this one, we actually have a unit we can collect medals for to Extreme Z Awaken, specifically the STR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. And let me tell you guys, this dude is an absolute monster. And from what I can tell, the Extreme Z Battle event is actually not going to be too hard to clear, at least compared to uh, some of the other ones we've had in the past. So I think most people should actually be able to collect the medals and Extreme Z Awaken this Gohan. And that's a really good thing because like I said, he is absolutely amazing. So, so freaking strong. I actually made a showcase about it already. It's up on the channel now. So if you guys are curious about just how good he is, what kind of damage he can do, which is a lot, go check it out on the channel right now. And uh, I really can't wait guys for this guy to officially become available in the game because He's just that good. He is really, really freaking good. The showcase for him really like surprised me, and it was probably one of the most fun showcases, at least for me personally, that I've ever done on the channel. So uh, yeah, go check it out, guys. Anyways, let's take a quick look at this event and see what it's all about. As you can see on the top here, it says that Cell begins with a, a damage reduction of 15%. And uh, it's in French because I couldn't find the event details on the English wiki for some reason. So we'll stick with this. Shouldn't be a big deal. But he starts with 15% overall damage reduction. And uh, for the pr first couple levels, we're fighting the Int Perfect Cell here. And of course, along the way, we're collecting the medals to Extreme Z Awaken the Gohan, starting with the silver, or sorry, the bronze ones. And we're also going to get some uh, STR Grand Kai's along the way as well. And good news, guys, we do get one stone for clearing each level up until level 30 for a total of 30 stones from this event, uh, not including missions of course as well. So 30 stones just for clearing the stages, and then possibly more for some missions too. I'm not really sure, we'll see at the bottom, but uh, we'll keep going here. So from levels 1 to 10, it's the Int Perfect Cell, we're getting the Bronze Medals for Gohan, and a couple of Grand Kai's. And then between levels 11 to 20, he gets a damage reduction of 20%, which Still isn't super crazy. Now I'm not sure if there are some details missing here as far as like additional damage reduction against certain types or you know maybe super types or extreme types or something like that. Not 100% sure about that but based on the information we have right now it looks like this event's gonna be pretty easy but if you I mean base it off the Jiren Extreme Z battle from last year that one was pretty easy too so this could be just all the information that we have and it's actually just that simple right? Uh, but anyways, levels 11 to 20 is going to be 20% damage reduction. We move on to the silver medals, of course getting stones along the way, getting some Kai's, and uh, also he becomes the tech perfect cell from there on. And then between levels uh, 21, well actually level after level 20, uh, he becomes, or he gets a damage reduction of 25%. We move on to the gold medals, and he becomes int type now. And of course, finally, we get the uh, final rainbow medals we need to fully Extreme Z Awaken the Gohan. And that is pretty much the main part of the Extreme Z battle that's over. We collect all the stones, we collect all the medals, we got all the Kai's and all that good stuff. But it would be a mistake if you guys were thinking of stopping at level 30. I mean, you could if you were just like, all you want to do is fully Extreme Z awaken the Gohan and just call it a day. I'm good. I got the stones. I'm, it's all good. Sure, you can do that, but you're missing out on a ton, a ton of good rewards, especially 
hidden potential orbs, which I'll show you guys right now. So beyond level 30, you'll get damage reduction of 30%, uh, which is still not crazy relative to like a lot of the other Extreme Z battle events, right? And uh, we're still fighting... Oh, so he becomes Tech Perfect Cell, the Extreme Z... Or not the Extreme Z Awakened... Actually, yeah, the Extreme Z Awakened one. Um, yeah, so the Tech Perfect Cell, the UR version. And uh, along the way, we're getting a ton of orbs per clear. So between levels 30, 31 to 34, I assume, we're getting 50 small orbs of each type, 30 medium orbs, and 2 large or orbs of each type. And then between... And then for level 35, this is actually a very thorough breakdown, holy crap. Okay, so for level 35, same thing except with two Sleepy Kai's. From uh, level 36 to level 39, I guess, it's going to be the same rewards. And then 40, we get two Sleepy Kai's. And then from level 41 beyond, he gets 35 damage reduction. And now we have this new physical cell, which I believe is a brand new art we've never seen in the game before. Correct me if I'm wrong, maybe... Uh, I just missed it or something like that, but I'm pretty sure this cell art does not exist. I believe it's brand new for the raid. So we're fighting this new uh, physical cell now. We're still getting orbs along the way. We're still getting some Kai's uh, here and there. And uh, it goes up as we go along, of course, up until level, let's see, level 100. Yes, up until level 100. So up until between levels 31, essentially, and level 100, we're getting a ton of orbs for every clear. We're getting some sleepy Kai's along the way. He does get more and more tanky as we go on, but it doesn't look like he gets any additional damage reduction against, you know, certain types of units or, or anything like that. So uh, I do think it's going to be pretty easy, actually, at least like relatively speaking, compared to other EZAs, uh, to get to level 100 at least. And if you want to go beyond level 100, that's totally up to you. I would personally not do it, but um, you know. You do get some training items, these like shirt items, uh, which is useful. You know, you can use them to train your, uh, train your units, but I don't think it's worth it after that. So I would recommend everybody to at least do the first 100 levels. And then if you want to stop there, sure. I mean, I don't really blame anybody for not wanting the shirts, right? But uh, dude, if you do all the levels up until level 100, you're expecting or you can expect to see a total of well, all these medals to awaken the Gohan, of course, 11 Sleepy Kai, no. 11 STR Grand Kai's, 28 Sleepy Kai's, and 4,500 of each type of small orb, 2,600 of each type of medium orb, and 240 of each type of large orb. And I believe, I'm pretty sure that's enough to rainbow one unit of each type. Maybe there's a few few orbs missing, but it's close. It's either very close or enough to rainbow one unit of each type. And that is a lot of orbs that I would not personally want to miss out on. So once again, I recommend you guys to do it, but it's up to you, right? And uh, of course, if you go beyond level, uh, if, you, if you want to do all the way between level 101 to uh, 999, you will get a total of 899 training shirts. Not really sure why you would want that, but... It's your call, man. It's your call. Okay, one other important thing is that the weakness for this event is going to be the Android slash Cell Saga category. And, uh, of course, you can't use items. Um, beyond level 41, the uh, SR items or SR units are no longer going to be effective, so you can't use uh, <laughs> things like Devil Man to try to nuke. But, once again, I don't think this event's going to be that hard, so I would probably say you don't need to try to use Devil Man anyways. And uh, there are some other things here that I don't think are super important. Oh, interesting. So I believe this actually says that after level 11, he becomes immune to being stunned. After level 16, you can't reduce his defense anymore. Uh, after level 21, he becomes immune to uh, sealing. Basically, you can't seal his super anymore. And then after level 31, he's immune to having his attack reduced. So basically, as we go along, he does get some special uh, immunities, but I still don't think it makes that much of a difference. This cell does seem very much like a pushover compared to other EZAs or like definitely Tokon Fest EZAs, and uh, I don't expect people to have too much trouble with him. Obviously, try to bring uh, as many Android slash Cell Saga units as you possibly can, but even if you don't, if you just bring like a mono you know, 120 team that has type advantage, I think will be just fine. So uh, yeah, there's the event guys, and that's pretty much all the details we currently have as far as I know about this upcoming event. Uh, definitely do up until level 100 if you want all those orbs, because I think it's totally worth it. And out of those 28 Sleepy Kai's, you never know, maybe like 
three of them will work. And that's like three free Kai's right there, right? So uh, yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys found it interesting, found it, uh, or you're just excited overall about part two of the celebration, which should officially begin in something like, I don't know, like 12 hours from the time this video is released, or maybe a little bit less. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get it started. There's the raid boss, there's the new infinite Dragon Ball history event, there's gonna be a new summonable something, either LR, Instant Transmission Goku, or maybe something else we haven't thought about. But either way, uh, I'm excited about all this, guys. And uh, that's gonna do it for today's video. That's all the info I have for you right now. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And yeah, until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.